Hello, this is Miles McGinn here, and I want to take a moment and share with you how to set up grading periods within the Course Sites Gradebook. Instructors will scroll down to the Course Management area and choose the Full Grade Center. Now, this is important when an instructor uses the gradebook a lot. If there are a lot of assignments building up throughout the academic year, the gradebook might tend to seem clunky because there's just so much stuff to scroll through. Well, this will solve that if we manage by adding a grading period. Next, create a grading period. Let's give it a name. <clears throat> a short description. And let's include a couple dates here. We'll do a starting date uh, right around New Year's, January 1st, 2013. And we're going to end this right after school is out, June 14th, 2013. And we will associate the grading period with all columns that have a due date within this range. What that will do is that will uh, categorize and collate um, all assignments into a field that's viewable by the teacher and it will exclude any of the, the assignments that are beyond those uh, those dates that we prescribed making the gradebook more manageable so let's go ahead and jump back to our grade center here now that I've created a grading period I'm going to add it also as a um, a smart view I'm going to create a new smart view, give it a name, and I'm going to select all users here. So I'm using the user toggle, and then you select all. And then finally, I'm going to um, choose a selected grading period, the new grading period I just created in the spring 2013. Let me pause for a minute before progressing. There are a lot of cool smart views that you can create as an instructor. Um, they can uh, limit the criteria based on all these different types of uh, views and uh, could be very, very specific to making something regarding just blogs or just tests or a gradebook just for assignments and so forth uh, within certain due date ranges if that's what a teacher is looking for. Uh, we're just going to go general and just choose the whole grading period spring semester 2013 and we'll progress on here by hitting submit. All right, back to the smart views panel here. And uh, notice now I've got this new smart view, spring 2013. If I click on it here, then it will become the view. Uh, it'll go back to the gradebook and, and demonstrate or show only the assignments collected within those due dates that I uh, preordained. I can also. Uh, add this to my favorites. This is interesting. If I click here, then we should see it um, populate over here once we're done. Notice now that the uh, since I've added the spring 2013 into my favorites, uh, you can simply get to it really quickly by just clicking here and uh, know that all the assignments that you're viewing uh, fall within that due date range. One word of caution though, if a teacher doesn't give a due date to an assignment, uh, it won't automatically be populated here. So uh, it's important to add due dates to things that you want to grade, such as a blog, a discussion, a wiki, an assignment, a test, and so forth, for it to work within the Smart View uh, area of the gradebook. Well, I hope this is uh, helpful in managing your gradebook. Um, until next time, have a great day.